But our first award goes to someone that I first became aware of uh, about 18 months ago. Suddenly she seemed to be everywhere, uh, especially on television and radio, and it got to the stage where it seemed impossible to watch uh, the big questions on BBC One, uh, or even the Victoria Derbyshire show on uh, the BBC News Channel, without this particular person making another very impressive appearance. Uh, today, she's assistant editor at the online magazine Spiked. She also writes regularly for The Spectator and City AM on issues ranging from feminism to free speech and much, much more. Uh, we're grateful to her, too, for being a staunch opponent of policies like plain packaging of tobacco, despite the fact, and this is to the best of my knowledge, she's actually given up smoking. But like the best liberal activists, she doesn't abandon her principles just because her own lifestyle has changed. Ladies and gentlemen, our first award tonight goes to Ella Whelan. So, um, because I was shamed because I lost my award last year, Ella, you can't come up until I've said a couple of things. The first thing that's important to say tonight about Ella Whelan is that this is a woman of the left. And I understand that there is a danger tonight of this being our very own echo chamber. But guess what? There are people on the left, and Ella is an absolutely exemplary example of it, who fight for freedom. So can we just all clap those who challenge the echo chambers and don't want to just hear themselves reflected back? Ella Whelan. <laughs> secondly, secondly, and I don't do gender often, because I can't be doing with identity politics. I hate all of those people who say, She's interesting because she's a woman. I hate all those people who say, oh, it's a BME activist, therefore we should clap. I hate all that stuff. However, I would like to point out there are some women who are worth saying they are the best, the most fantastic women around, and Ella Whelan is one of them. Let's give that a round of applause. <laughs> and the third thing before she gets her award is that one of the things that I have written a book about and which I can't stand is the overflattering of the young. There is nothing worse than those young people who think they should be patted on the back because they're young. There is nothing worse than those young people who say, I find that offensive because I'm young. I can't stand Generation Snowflake. I've written against them. But what I would say is, if this movement of libertarians who pro-freedom can't find young people who will fight for it, then we're doomed. Luckily, we've got Ella Whelan, woman, young libertarian. Ella Whelan, come get your prize. Thank you, Simon and Claire and Forrest, I'm honored. Um, I did give up smoking, but I'm now back on the rolly, so if anyone's got any straights, please come find me in the smoking area and give me a few. Um, Spite is delighted to continue to fight for freedom, and we find it extremely important now more than ever to stand up for what you believe in, even though sometimes it's very hard, and we're delighted to have colleagues like uh, Claire and Simon to help us fight for that, so thank you.